cricket lesson. So we're going to look at some bowling and some fielding today. The equipment that you're going to need is a marker of some description that you can move um, and some stumps. You can use stumps if you've got them in your garden. You can use a chair or you can draw something off the wall with chalk that will rub off or wash off. Okay, don't get me in trouble. Okay, so the ball. Probably not best to use a hard ball for this. Okay, so what we are looking at is maybe a tennis ball for the garden. To make it realistic though, I've taken the seam of this, so we're getting used to uh, hard ball cricket and getting ready for that. And I've just drawn a black line down a tennis ball, okay, to replicate the seam. Okay, because it's important for the grip. When we're bowling, what I want you to try and focus on is having two ears, like a bunny, okay, and I want you to place them either side of the seam, okay? So if you've got a tennis ball, it will look like this. Two fingers either side of that black marker, okay? Thumb on the ball, okay, keeping it nice and tight. This allows us to see if we let go of the ball in a straight line and it's not coming out moving like this, okay? We want to, as we get older, Release the ball nice and straight. Okay, so fingers either side of a line on the ball. That's your first thing to do with your grip. Okay. We're going to progress through the video uh, using a number of techniques and they'll be outlined and they'll be shown. We're moving on to the next level. Okay, so to start with, we're going to start with like the basics. So we have our grip. Okay, and we know that when we bowl, we need to keep our release arm straight. Okay, so we can't bend it and throw the ball. It's got to stay straight the whole way through. So a good way to start with if we're just beginning is feet apart, okay, nice and wide. We can make a star with our body. Okay, that's very simple. Nice and simple, star with our body. We lean back and we bring our hand over, okay, keeping it straight and then releasing in front of us. Go back. And release. Okay? Nice star shape. Concentrate on this arm being rigid. Okay? If you're left handed, same thing. Alright, needs to come over this way. Okay? But we're keeping that back arm straight the whole way over and then it tickles our ear as it comes over and we let go just on the way down. Okay? We don't want to let go here because the ball goes straight in the air. We want to let go on the way down. Okay, so a few views of that. Keep practicing it. Back, lean, release. Okay, we're going to move it on a bit now. We're going to look at our feet. All right, so what I want you to do now is make your front foot, your non-throwing hands, foot point to the target. Okay, and I want you to lean back and just allow your body to twist at the top of your action and release the straight line. So concentrate on your feet. You're making an L with your foot. Okay, lean. Bring it over. That's all I want you to do. Now we're going to look at our arms a bit more and our non-throwing arm in particular. Okay, we've done our feet, we've done the star shape to get basic movement. Now we're going to try and make it a bit more uh, progressive and better for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend our front arm and we're going to look inside of the palm of our hand. Okay, so we can put the back of our hand on our cheek so we're looking down the back of it. Okay. We're going to imagine that there's a string from this hand to this hand. 
And when I bring this arm down, it pulls my other one under. Okay, so imagine there's a bit of string here, and as I pull this down, my back arm comes over. So from the front, I'm looking down, I pull it down, and this one comes over, and it comes close to my ear. Okay? In, down, over. Chest to the target. My wicket's there, I want to release them. Okay? So now combine the two. So I've got my feet planted in that L shape, I have my bunny ears grip on the ball, okay, I bring my arm back straight, one bend, and I pull it over, the ball comes. Okay, get the grip again, arm straight, bend the front arm, pull it over, and release. Just showing you it from the back, not aiming at any targets yet. Okay, got my grip, L shape, bring it over, release. Grip, straight arm, bring it over, release. Okay, once you've practiced that and you feel you've got the hang of releasing it straight, you can't have a go at aiming at some stuff. So I've set up something not too far away to start with. We can get further back as we get better at it. It's important not to be throwing it too far to start with. Okay? All I want you to do is stand nice and still. With that L shape. Straight arm at the back. Bend arm at the front. Release it straight. And try and hit the stump. Set yourself a challenge. See how many you can do. So maybe 10 goes. How many can you do? Have another 10 goes. How many did you get? Keep trying to improve. Then you can move it back a bit. So I moved it back a bit, still don't need to run. Keep my feet still. Lean back. Release. Okay, next progression is about footwork. Um, and you don't need cones, you can lay some sticks down or socks or whatever you've got at home. Okay, we're going to look at how our feet need to move in between these cones. So I've got two. Gaps, three sets of cones. Okay, so two gaps in here. What you're going to focus on is planting your throwing foot sideways, your non throwing foot in that L shape, and then releasing. So you're walking into it. So I walk, step sideways, step straight, and then release. Okay, turning this hip. And bringing that toe up at the end. One more time. So I step, step, release. Okay? Walking in, sideways, step forward, fast. Okay? And again, so I walk in, step sideways, get my hands ready, step forward. Now we're going to look at jumping into it. So what I want us to do is jump, sideways, lunge, open up and bump. Okay, so again, jump, sideways, land, open up and bump. So when I run, I run, jump, sideways, open and bump. Get your hands ready, jump sideways and bump. Stand forward, get your arms ready, jump sideways, bump. Final progression is to try and run in and then sort your feet out and bowl the ball nicely. So, run. Turn sideways, right. Okay? Remember all the things you've practiced. Get your arm up. Run. Jump, turn sideways, right. Have a go. Try and see how many you can hit the stumps with. Repeat it. That's your first lesson on some bowling. Okay? Keep practicing it. Make sure we go through the stages. Star, 
pull the string over, okay, think about your feet being open, and then progress it through the cones or through the markers, aim at a target. Have fun with it, practice, 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 make the distance longer, okay, make sure that when we come back to school, we're all brilliant bowlers. Have fun with it, enjoy it, stay safe.